Right folks, this is a big one. I'll give you a uh, really quick tour around. Ignore the fact I'm out of breath because I have been uh, wandering around for quite a while doing a few little jobs. Sort of getting ready for the big one. And a path. <coughs> There's all this driveway. There is that path that curls up. We'll come round the other side afterwards. At this point, I thought it was best to just remove the audio and do a voiceover. I did sound like I was dying. <laughs> um, right, as you can see, big, big driveway. Not horrendous. Moss mainly around the edges. Up there, that parking area. Big bit of moss there. And then onto the first area of sandstone patio. Very green. Very slippy. Comes around the side. The small area of patio there, well I say small, it's a decent size. Up them steps, this which I think is honed Indian sandstone, so it can be quite tricky to clean, but I'm pretty certain it'll come up well. And it's easier for me to go back this way and show you, because it's so many different levels and paths and hidden areas of the garden, so. Up these big steps. These are going to be fun to clean, because they're really steep, I don't know if you can tell on the camera. So, first level, path along there, path along there, more steps, and this is the top. So, as you can see, very green, very slippy. Now we're on to tarmac. So, another path down there. That bit will come back up afterwards in the video. So, we'll start off going down here. Believe it or not, that is tarmac. It's just a uh, current moss carpet, as you can see. So I've actually hired a Westerman moss brush for this area. Well, for a lot of the area, to be honest, but mainly for the, the moss on the tarmac. So I can remove probably 90 to 95% of it without actually pressure washing it first. So I can then low pressure the rest of it so I don't damage the tarmac underneath. As you'll see, oh, sorry, small patio there. Getting ahead of myself. As you'll see from some of the areas, the tarmac's not in the best of conditions. It's quite old, but, you know, with the, the moss brush, it should come up okay. That's actually just a dead end there where, my, where I'm pointing to. It doesn't actually go anywhere. Around the corner, another big mossy area. And then this, this is perhaps probably the worst bit of all of it. Big old long path. Again thick spongy moss underfoot that's another little sort of secret garden area there's a pond and a patio i wasn't going to go down and show you but then i think i decided to yeah i did pond small patio So this is sort of down at the side slash front of the house now. Thankfully that's grass. <laughs> no, not on another moss carpet. So this is coming round to the front of the house. That looks back up to where the home stand zone patio is. This path down here that I'm going to show you is where I pointed out at the beginning of the video. So that curves back down to the driveway. Now I'm going to go back up to the other area at the top that I didn't show you at the start of the video. So I'll fast forward a little bit for you. So we'll go back a different way now just to show you. So over these stones, these were like blocks of ice, very, very slippy. There are some steps down there that lead down to the sandstone patio. A little area there where the shed is. And then some more tarmac coming up here. As you can see, it's quite cracked, so quite bad condition. This area is beautiful, and I think it will come up stunning. Really wide steps down to the garden again. As you'll see on the video here, the, the moss and the, it's so slippy. But I think that'll come up stunning. Well, the little area down there, the archway. And this is back to 
the, the top player of the garden when I first came up the steps. So it's going to be a big job. Please leave me a comment if you made it this far in the video. Let me know if you're looking forward to this one. I really, really am. I think it's going to be amazing. It's going to come up really nice.